I'm definitely not the naturalist, most natural person on earth. Hey, love buzz, it's your girl, Disastrous Beauty, coming back with the voiceover. So this unit was sent to me by White Wig. Shout out to you, White Wigs, for sending me this unit. Right here, I am showing you guys what all came in the packaging. And right here, I am showing you guys something that they have on sale. So this is just like a wig bag as well as a wig bonnet. The company did say they will have these products on sale. So if you want to check them out, definitely check them out. And right here, I'm showing you guys the cap construction. This unit does come with your standard two cones in the front, one cone in the back with adjustable strap. And it also has this elastic band, so you can wear this wig as a glueless wig, which I will be doing. I will not be adhering this wig whatsoever. It will be worn as a glueless wig. This unit is in the style Gloria. It is a um, eight inches in length. It's 150% density, and it is in a natural color, and the lace color is medium brown. And I am using these little bitty flat irons or chi irons, whatever they are. I am using these to style this wig. These flat irons did come in a boxy um, luxe for me a while back. And this was the perfect opportunity to use them. And yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Everything else is basically standard. And if you're interested in more details and specs about this unit, then please continue to watch. And I will see you love ups in the outro. Bye. wig and this is what I got if you are interested in the details the specs and all that good stuff about this wig then please continue to watch okay hey, y'all so this wig was sent to me by Y wig shout out to you Wigs for sending me this unit I really do appreciate it now this wig is supposed to be very similar to another wig that was sent to me I think it's the wig that was in my lookbook if I'm not mistaken it was the wig that was sent to me in my lookbook if you guys don't remember then I will add the clip right here so you guys can see um, and yeah, this one is supposed to be similar. Now, in my personal opinion, this wig is different as far as the, the length of it is really, really different. Like the other wig was way sh longer. This wig is much shorter and the, the other wig didn't have this tail in the back. Okay. It's like this wig has some sort of tail in the back of it, but the other wig did not. So this wig um, as far as deeds and specs and all that good stuff, this wig is 8 inches long. It's 150% density. It's a natural color. It's a deep part lace front wig. I do have it in a, a small cap size, which explains a lot since I wear a medium cap size, okay? <laughs> and this one is in a small, okay? It's in a small cap size. 
although I do wear a medium cap size. Um, the lace color is medium brown. And as far as details and specs and more so that you guys want to look at, I will have the direct link to this wig listed down below in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. Now, let's talk about the comparison because I feel like the other wig was named Gloria too. Am I tripping? Sis, am I tripping? I don't know. If I'm tripping, then I'm tripping. But I feel like the other wig was named Gloria as well. We're going to just get into the wig and the the specs and stuff of this particular wig. So this wig does come with your standard two combs in the front, one comb in the back was just with straps. This wig is a frontal unit, so you don't have to part it all the way to this side if you don't like that. If that's not your swag, honey, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, it's not even an issue. You can part it wherever you want it to be parted at. You can part it over here, you can part it over here, you can part it in the middle. It's definitely your preference because you really can part this wig wherever. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys where you can part the wig like so if you want to you can part the wig over here and so on it's is plenty of room to part this wig where you want the wig to be parted at um with this wig um there's no shedding there's no tangling i mean it's not a whole lot of hair so that should not be an issue if it was an issue honey you guys would not be seeing this video okay like your girl would not be doing this video if that was an issue. If I was experiencing shed and tangling from an 8 inch wig, then honey, you would not be seeing this video. Because this wig will be going right back to mama, okay? Like, <laughs> y'all need to go back to the drawing board, okay? But with this wig, I have not experienced any shedding or tangling whatsoever. And as far as the fit of this wig, this wig does not fit your girl, okay? It does not. It just. It's just not. Okay. Like it. It is fitting. Like it's fitting, but it's not fitting comfortably. I am a medium cap size. This particular wig is in a small, and it explains a lot because I was wondering, like, what is going on, honey? Like, what's what's good? Okay. <laughs> like, what's good? But I now know because this wig is a small, that is what's good. Now, the plus side to this wig being smaller than normal for me is that I did not have to got to be glued it down because, honey, she is smack down on my head, okay? Your girl wears definitely a medium cap size. And because this one is a small, like, I did not have to got to be glued a, a single thing. Like, this is how she came. Like, this is, this is her look, honey, okay? This is it no michael jackson like your girl didn't have to do a thing because this is literally how she came and it was mostly because she don't fit me okay <laughs> she does not fit me so if you want to size down you can and yeah then she can just smother your head like if that's what you're looking for in life but anyways y'all um yeah that's pretty much it as far as i'm sorry this, this is sticking out in the back because once again, she 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 don't fit. <laughs> she don't fit. So it's kind of sticking out in the back. It's a whole whole ordeal back here. But anyways, y'all. So if you're interested in a full 360 and how I feel about this wig and details, blah blah. If you're interested in all that, then please continue to watch. Okay. So the main question is, how do I feel about this wig? And honestly, y'all, I think the wig is really really cute. Like I think it is a really really cute wig. The only issue that I have with this wig is that I don't like this in the back. Like, I feel like this needs to be shaved down or something. It's just not my cup of tea. I feel like this back part is more of a um, Caucasian feel or actually any ethnicity other than African American. <laughs> Honestly, it's just not my cup of tea. As an African American female, I just kind of feel like it needs to be shaved down. And I, you know, that's an easy fix. Like, I ain't mad at it because it is an easy fix. But I do feel like with African Americans, we do wear this part more tapered, more pressed down than other communities. And it's a reason we do that. So, yeah, that's, that's my only issue with this particular wig. Now, as far as the front, honey, the front, I feel like, doesn't need anything done to it whatsoever. I like the front. I think the front is cute. It's an entire look for me in the front. Like, I would recommend the front of this wig. Now, I would recommend the entire wig because I do feel like the back is an easy fix. Like, you can shave it down, honey. You guys know I'm always talking about my kitchen. <laughs> I'm 
always talking about my kitchen but if you you know you got a man he can just shave that that hair right on down and make it look more realistic for us you know what i mean us okay so that is my only issue with this wig now if you are caucasian or asian or um of any other ethnicity hispanic whatever um i feel like you could wear it like this but it's just not something that we do in our community we just don't like i feel like it's we do more shade looks than anything and i don't feel like it's tapered enough for the african-american community and that is my only issue with this wig now everything else honey i feel like it's an entire look like this bang honey is everything like i am feeling this bang you guys know i'm a sucker for a good bang and i love this bang actually the haircut mine is this area right here reminds me of a haircut that i had in high school like honey your girl didn't have like i had my hair completely cut off in high school honey i'm planning on cutting it again <laughs> but i had it completely cut off kind of like this minus this area it was like just like this and it was really really shaved in the back and honey girl you can tell your girl nothing okay you can tell me nothing in high school and i kept my hair kind of short all the way up until i had juicy which i had him at 22 so yeah um but i do feel like it's a look just like just this area isn't i don't feel like it's appropriate for the african-american community and that is pretty much it like the wig and other than that is a complete bop i would recommend it let me know what you guys think now i did use these little bitty flat irons now these little bitty flat irons is from pyt is it pyt honey yes it's from pyt i love that name these are they, they came in one of my boxy lux um mm, last year so honey i can't tell you where they come from no no nothing other than they came in my boxy charm okay slash boxy lux but i did they did come in handy for my hair length like i felt like it was it was really really easy to flat iron it and i would recommend some really really small flat irons like that or something with styling wigs like that this because it makes it really really easy and yeah y'all that is yeah that's pretty much it i do feel like it's a look like i said it's an easy fix if you don't like the back like the back isn't my personal cup of tea but i do feel like it's an easy fix it's something that you can shave down or whatever make it look like you want to look or if that is your style keep it as is so yeah that's pretty much it now i didn't let you guys get a good look at the parting space behind the parting space is life like look at that look at that and all i had to do was apply my sephora micro smooth and it look, it just looked like that girl <laughs> it just looked like that so like the parting space is phenomenal okay all you have to do is apply your pressed powder and it brings it right to life and yeah y'all that is pretty much it so i'm gonna give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way up. so this is obviously the unit in the front this is it on the left side this is it in the back um this is it on the right side so let me know what you guys think if you think it's a look if you kind of understand what i'm saying about the um back let me know down below in the comments um i'd appreciate it and yeah y'all that is pretty much it all the information about this unit list down below in the description box for your convenience and yeah y'all that is pretty much it so we can wrap this thing all the way up so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions something that you feel like i may have left out feel free to comment down below and if you're not already subscribed what are you even doing with your life what's good click that subscribe button and if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms i am disastrous beauty on both ig and facebook i'm held to me a c on snapchat and I'm disastrous b on twitter and i will see you love bucks next time bye